Kessler here with Justin Thompson. We just wrapped up the 2015 season. We had the last gate drop here tonight in Tunica. And Heath Harrison came out on top to take the Clash for Cash overall championship. It was a great night. Yeah, I know. It was awesome. Uh, you know, the racing all year has been great. And uh, it just to top it off with uh, pretty much the fastest pros I think we've had on one, one sitting. I and mean, we didn't have as many of them, but we had the top of the top. Yeah, we had, obviously Heath was here and Johnny came back to defend his championship and he'll pass that number one plate down to Heath, but Cole Thompson came and raced tonight and uh, Brett Q was here, so yeah. it was exciting to watch a lot of those big names. Um, when you Tyler have, Medaglia. Tyler yeah, Tyler Medaglia was here. Was here. He got a couple podiums tonight. He finished third in the clash. All right, I'm down here on the floor with that main event winner in the AX Pro class, Tyler Medaglia. Tyler, you're here all the way from Canada doing some race down south. How's it been down here? It's been great. You know, this is the second one I came, uh, second AX Tour I've been to. Uh, I did a bunch last year, and you know, they're great, a uh, great time. So I'm excited to come. What do you think about this track here in Tunica tonight? Um, it's pretty tricky. I mean, it's really tight. It's, um, it doesn't really look uh, crazy aggressive because we're trying to get traction and be smooth. Because like, if you get on the uh, throttle a little too hard, it can, you know, screw you up pretty easily. So, uh, but all in all, I like the track. Awesome. Well, congratulations on your main event win here tonight. So yep. he did uh, really awesome, and I think that from the start to the end of the season, you know, we had a lot of pros round one, and it did kind of taper out a little bit as riders got pulled at different directions with Supercross. But overall, to still have these four big names coming and making money here tonight, it's it's awesome racing to come see. All right, I'm down here on the floor with Johnny Moore. Johnny, you just won that main event out here, and by taking that win. You've clinched the class championship. How does it feel to be a champion again? Uh, it feels pretty good, you know. I, I've been on top of this for the past two years, so it feels nice to do it again. But uh, the real goal is to finish up third in the class for better and uh, secure second place in that. Well, congratulations on this main event win as well as the class championship, and best of luck in the clash. Thank you. Zachary Bishop Burnett, you finished second in that main event. Tell us a little bit about how your night's been going. Uh, it's been going pretty decent, just trying to get uh, good starts and you know, try to run up front, keep up with Johnny, and uh, see what his lines are. And, you know, just going to try to get a good race in the clash and uh, stay clean and try to get another hole shot. Tonight here in Tunica, Johnny Moore, he got the start in the clash for cash, and he led more than half the race. I think it was like 15 laps. And then uh, Thompson and, and Heath were battling behind him. So they kind of caught up to the pack. And then, unfortunately, Cole went down. Yeah, he had a good good digger there almost right in front of our stand. It was pretty good. You know, and uh, Heath was just pushing the whole time. He came from back a little bit, and he just pushed his way to the front. And uh, I think he got by Tyler with like a couple laps to go, and then he got to Johnny with you know one or two laps to go. And it was it was an awesome race. All right, Tyler Medaglia, you just finished up third here tonight in the Clash. How does it feel to get this podium finish here? It felt good. You know, I uh, had a strong race. I uh, started to get uh, a little bit stronger towards the end. And uh, yeah, I was just happy with, with how I felt. The bike was working really good. So yeah, good starts all, all night. Awesome, well congratulations on your podium finish here tonight. Thank you very much. All right, I've got Johnny Moore here tonight. Johnny, you finished second tonight. Your last year's Clash for, Ca Clash for Cash champion. This has got to be bittersweet for you to pass the number one plate off to Heath Harrison. But how did your night go here tonight? No, it was pretty good. It started off kind of rough. I had a big crash in the, the 450 main event and I had to come from back of the pack in that one. And, uh, you know, to finish up second in the clash is pretty good. I led, I think, 15 or 16 laps. And I saw Heath coming. I, I wanted to hold him off, but uh, I just had a bad arm pump, and I started making mistakes. So it was, it was just a good good deal to just battle with Heath a little bit, and if he was faster, just let him go and try to pace him and get second. And that's what happened. So it was a good night. Awesome. Well, I know you came back midway through the season. Are we going to expect to see you next year? Probably so. Awesome. Well, best of luck in this offseason. season. All right, Heath Harrison, you're the 2015 Clash for Cash champion. You almost had a perfect season. You won here tonight in Tunica. Tell us about that. Yeah, the night started off a little rough. I uh, won the heat race, came from about six, and made some good passes and won it. And then the main event, it got a little aggressive with Cole, and uh, I ended up going down. I'm not real sure what I got in there. I think third or second. And uh, then just put my head down for the Clash for Cash, and I uh, got a decent start and was in fourth, just riding behind Cole, Johnny, and Tyler. and. Uh, just kind of trying to pace everybody and uh, unfortunate for Cole, he went down, hope he's all right. And, uh, and then just kind of rolled my own race, made a good pass on Tyler. And then uh, I think Johnny got a little tight and uh, ended up getting him towards the end there and then just held on for the win. 
Awesome. You're going to get some money tonight for winning. You're also going to get that Clash for Cash points fund. I know you've got some plans in the offseason that that money's going to help you out with. What's your plan going into the AX Tour offseason, but I guess the Supercross season? Yeah, I, uh, going to do the East Coast in the 450 class, going to Dallas next weekend, and uh, plan to do all those. And then, but uh, yeah, all this money is going back into my racing program. So uh, it's pretty awesome to be able to win almost all the races except for one of them, and then uh, get that big points fund at the end. Awesome. Well, congratulations on your entire season and all your wins, and best of luck in Supercross. Thank you. Heath, Heath is uh, deserving of the championship. I mean, all year he's been the guy in the top spot. You know, so. Yeah, it was almost a perfect season. That you know, there's a couple of rounds where he didn't quite get it, but overall, I think he had over a hundred point lead on the rest of the pack. So to be that dominant and have that confidence going into Supercross, that'll definitely help him out. Yeah, you know, and, and just his whole program this year, I think he's on track for a, for a great East Coast Supercross. Even though he's riding just a 450, I think he's just going to have a, you know, a, at least confidence going in. You know, and that's what this series is all about. I mean, it builds confidence for these riders, and that's that's what the great thing is about it. Well, heading into the off season, we've got Mini Thunder going on at the Jetworks compound um, over February and March. You can go to arenacrosstour.com to check out information on the dates coming up for that. So that's the next thing to look forward to. And it's, it's more of a kid series. You won't see some of our fast pro guys out there. However, it's more aimed for your 50, 65, and 85 riders, so all the amateur kids can it's look a, forward to that. It's a great program, too. You know, the kids enjoy it. It's uh, great grassroots. It's a youth development program, so it's for the kids. Uh, there is some older guys that come out and have fun with their kids and stuff like that, but it is for the kids to, to build their confidence and make them maybe want to come try an arena cross or try a bigger race. So it's, it's, it's great, and it's at the Jetworks compound. Yeah, and we'll have training there all summer long, so if you're getting ready for any summer races, definitely check us out. We'll have training programs going on, some, some of the camps that we'll be going on with Cole and Johnny. So we're in the works. Stay, make sure you're checking out the Facebook and the Twitter and everything. We'll keep you guys up to date in the offseason.